Hey there friends, welcome to the vid. And in this vid, I'm gonna talk about DPDR and intrusive thoughts. So if you are going through DPDR and anxiety, one of the most common symptoms is intrusive thoughts. And what I mean about intrusive thoughts, it's either thoughts that scare you or thoughts that are just annoying, that just never seem to go. So for example, some of the thoughts could be, what if I don't recover? Um, what if I'm going crazy? What if I have this for 20 years? Or it can be more sort of general, broad sweeping life things like what is the meaning of life? Why am I here? What's the purpose of everybody? How is a dog a dog? How is a cat a cat? You know, how, how can people think? And these thoughts just never go. They're just so persistent. And what could be annoying for you too is that before you fell into DPDR and anxiety, you actually liked thinking about this stuff. You know, you liked thinking about what's the meaning of life or you liked chatting to your friends about what's out there and you know, all that. But now it just completely freaks you out. And that also sort of feeds into the intrusive thoughts of, well, why don't I like thinking about that anymore? And why am I scared about thinking about that now? And the reason they're called intrusive thoughts is because no matter what you do, they just always seem to be there. It's like if you're engaged in something and you're actually sort of doing it, then perhaps the thoughts aren't there. But it's whenever you have a moment of rest or a moment of just, you know, not having to do something that these thoughts just instantly pop back in. And I know exactly what you feel like because I went, this, I went through this as well when I was going through my DPDR recovery. Now I don't have any intrusive thoughts and I love to talk about and think about the, the big philosophical things. But when I was actually going through it, you know, some of my thoughts were, how am I going to recover? And almost, sort of sadder, a little bit darker thoughts as well. Like, um, you know, what's the point in doing all this? And like, I really don't want to have to go out right now. And I don't want to have to do this. And I, I hate that you know, that I'm just in the situation that I'm in. I know that they're scary and I know that they suck and I know that it feels like you don't have any control over them. And you know what? You don't have any control over them because they're one of the symptoms of anxiety and you don't have any control over any of the symptoms. All you do have is you have coping mechanisms, but the actual symptoms themselves you don't have any control over them because if you did, then you wouldn't have the symptoms. And so why are these thoughts even happening and what do you do about them? So the reason that they're happening is because basically your mind is frantically running through all the experiences you've ever had and all the information it's got in its brain to try and figure out what is going on, what is that threat to you and is just trying to make sense of it all. And because you've never actually experienced this before, it's very confused. It doesn't know what it's doing. And the thing you've got to remember here is that it doesn't necessarily matter how you got the intrusive thoughts. They're just a symptom of anxiety. DPDR is just a symptom of anxiety. There are literally hundreds of symptoms of anxiety and you can have dozens of them or you can just have one of them. So really don't bother using your brain power trying to figure out why you're having this. You've just got to go, well, I'm having this. So what am I going to do about it? Having the answers of why something happened can feel like it makes it a lot easier. It's like, oh, well, that's why it happened. So I can avoid it next time. And, but sometimes it's just, there's no one single thing, you know, it's a collection of a lot of things that will bring you into the state and maybe whatever trigger point you had has brought you into the state and now you're getting these intrusive thoughts. And so what do you actually do about it? The thing that you do about it is, first of all, you accept that you are where you are right now. Okay, yep, I've got intrusive thoughts. This is just a symptom. The second thing you gotta do is realize that it is just a symptom. These thoughts aren't really you. It's just your mind going into overdrive trying to figure stuff out. It's going around in little loops here and little loops here and little loops here. And it's, you know, it's just completely overwhelmed at the moment. And the third thing you do is that when these intrusive thoughts do start, you say to yourself, okay, these are intrusive thoughts. It's just a symptom of anxiety. It's gonna calm down as my anxiety calms down. I'm not gonna try and answer them or pay any attention to them. I'm just getting on with what I'm doing, you know, or some kind of variation of that. The sort of what you're trying to achieve here is that 
you're not trying to answer them because you already know that if you try and answer these questions that you're having or you try and act on these thoughts and try and figure them out, you already know that it doesn't work. So why are you just going to do that again and again? The answer is you've got to do something different. You've got to break the cycle. You've got to break the chain. And the thing that you can do is that is different is to allow the thoughts to be there. You know, that's something that's different. I bet you never thought of that. Let them be there. Let them do their thing. Just acknowledge them. Just say, yeah, they're just thoughts. My brain is just going wild right now thinking about all this stuff. And that's because I'm highly anxious and I'm highly stressed and, and all this other stuff is going on. No wonder my mind is, is how it is right now. And that's going to achieve a couple of things. First of all, it's going to let you off the hook because this isn't your fault. Second of all, it's going to stop it getting worse because you're not sort of perpetuating it, you're not getting in the habit of doing it, and you're not just sort of going down the rabbit hole even more with these thoughts. And third of all, it's going to teach you that these thoughts aren't actually anything to be worried about. It's the thoughts that you do after these thoughts come in which matter. And so what do I actually mean by that? So let's say you have a thought of what's the meaning of life. And for some reason, that completely freaks you out, whereas it didn't before, but now it does. So what you can do is when that thought comes in, you can go, you know, what's the meaning of life? Oh, okay. I just had that intrusive thought that anxiety is just giving me again. Huh, that's really interesting. Thanks, anxiety. Thanks for that. And I acknowledge that that thought is there and it can be there as long as it wants. It doesn't matter. It's just my body and my mind doing its thing right now. And I'm just going to continue to get on with my day regardless of the thoughts that are going in. Now, when you do this, the thoughts might still be there. So then you sort of go through that process again. The idea of doing this, it's not to make you feel better in the moment. So if you sort of go through this process and you do feel better, that's great. If you go through this process and you don't feel better, it doesn't matter. You just keep going because eventually you will feel better because it's just a symptom and you treat the symptoms exactly the same, whether it's an intrusive thought or whether it's DPDR or whether it's pins and needles in your fingers. You know, it doesn't matter. You treat it the same. And the long-term effect of this, because you're after long-term freedom, aren't you? You're not after just a quick fix because you already know that quick fixes don't work because they, if they did work, you'd be fixed right now. You want to do long-term freedom and this is how you get to long-term freedom. I work with a lot of people who have intrusive thoughts and I help them through that and I help them towards their recovery. So if you want help as well with that, then just reach out to me. All my contacts are in a pinned comment and also the description. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.